I'm in St. Charles, Illinois at the community of Munhall Glen. We're gonna tour the new Dover Ranch plan from Earhart Construction. Now this ranch was featured in this year's Cavalcade Tour of Homes and the builder, Court, is gonna be here and he's gonna give us a tour of this brand new ranch plan of his. Welcome to the Dover Farmhouse. The house is about 1,900 square feet. It's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's got a flex room with an option for a third bedroom. Large kitchen, great room, dining area. Hope you enjoy the tour. So as we enter the home, we're greeted by a generous foyer and immediately to our left is our flex space. We show it in this configuration with this wonderful glass wall and our idea with this design was to, to let a lot of light in yet give that opportunity to control sound transmission through the house and it's got a great space for a home office with a desk and a wonderful seating area for a gathering with a few friends. And then to the right is the guest bedroom which is generous and has its own walk-in closet which is a great space for friends or family that come to visit. And then we have a hall bath with uh, a tub shower combo for guests and also for the uh, second bedroom. Bathroom has black finishes. It's got a great undermount bowl with a thickened edge for the countertop. One of the details I like is I love the black rim around the mirror. It just gives a little bit more of a custom built-in look and it's got full tile on the bathtub. We're entering the great room, which is a space that I really love about this. We actually did the optional cathedral ceiling in here to create a little bit more volume. And we really spent some time and enjoyed customizing the kitchen because it's a showpiece with the appliances and larger island. We did cabinetry to the ceiling, which is really kind of a neat detail. You know, you're gonna have to get a ladder out to uh, use those, those upper cabinets, but sometimes that's just fine, but it, really the trim detail and the feel of it. And I love the way it works with the wood hood. I love the stained That's beautiful. Uh, band on the hood that matches the lower cabinets that really gives a warmth, but with the white cabinets, there's this kind of clean feel to it. Very modern, um, but also some real warmth by bringing the stained wood into the kitchen. Another thing I really love about this kitchen is we uh, expand the island to four feet deep. I think that is a great detail if you're able to do it in the kitchen, and we are here, because it creates a really defined space for those on the working side of the kitchen and those on the hangout side watching you work. Um, although it also creates a great space for just full island working. It's just a lot of wonderful counter space, and I love the quartz, uh, the career quartz on this. It's a beautiful countertop. One of the things I like about this kitchen, it's got a wonderful walk-in pantry. We've got some built-in shelves in there, which really expands the use. And a fun thing we did with this is we put a glass on the door into the pantry opaque and stained it to match the cabinetry, make the, the space feel a little bit more integral with the kitchen. Another thing in the kitchen that we did is we extended the cabinetry to create kind of a buffet area. So again, when you have guests or something like that, if you would like to set some food out there, that's great. Or quite honestly, storage for wine, whatever you might want. Um, you could easily put a wine fridge below if you wanted upper cabinets. But in this case, we kind of like this frame board, kind of set it up as a buffet. Another detail I love about this was another option. We went with a quad sliding door and it just so impacts the space of the house and it leads you out to the porch, giving this outside in living environment, really expanding the space. I just love these doors. Our back hall laundry room, we've got a great boot bench in there. Excellent area for washer dryer and then also some great hanging and shelf space to really create a very usable entryway. And actually in this case, we chose to put a pocket door and we actually have a window right at the end of it. Even though the laundry room is on the inside, we bring some natural light into that space, which is really nice. 
One of the things that I like whenever we look to design rooms, I'm always a fan of rectangles because I like a little bit more width than depth. And so this very comfortably fits a king size bed, creates an area and opportunity for a seating area if you'd like. It's a large spacious room with a double window on the back, which really lets a lot of light in. And then you walk into the master bath. In this case, we chose to put an optional expanded shower with a zero entry into the shower, which is really a wonderful detail. And this one, I happen to really enjoy the tile. Um, I think it gives some movement and is really a very dramatic part of the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, this tile, I think is beautiful court. But I also like the fact that you put in these ledges here for, in addition to the seat. Yeah, and we've got the ledges, um, we've got the seat there, and actually right behind you is a wonderful area also. If somebody wanted to put a teak bench or something like that, and it really works well as a area to dry yourself off instead of sitting in the wetter part of the shower if you need to sit down and you're drying yourself off. So it's very nice. The entire space is, is tile all the way to the ceiling in every aspect. Yeah. Being a wet area, that's pretty good. Exactly, and I love the way that the glass wall really lets light flow completely through. We actually put a couple of extra high windows in here, opaque windows to let some natural light in, but not that you'd ever feel the need to put any kind of blind in front of. And I like the mirrors above the vanity. I, we created a little bit more definition with those instead of running a plate glass mirror all the way across, we created kind of two specific mirrors there that I think creates a really nice um, feel. And then the bathroom also has a uh, water closet and then a generous closet for your clothes with some custom shelving as well as a linen closet in the bathroom. So really all the space you need. Of course, this house has a full basement for future expanded area, as well as comes standard with the three car garage, which really gives a fun place to put some toys. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough on the Dover. A lot of neat options that can be done in a lot of different houses, but I think this is just a wonderful floor plan. Mm -hmm.